This speaker is made out of 100 non-recyclable plastic bags. It was designed by a startup called Gommi in Brighton, England. We called the company Gomi because it means litter or waste in Japanese. Um, and we're really inspired by Japanese, like minimal design. Uh, so that was super important for us to include the both our inspirations in design, but also show that yeah, it is made from waste, but it can still look really beautiful. Gomi's aim is to stop plastic waste being incinerated or going to landfill, and instead using it to create objects that people would love to have in their homes. And the first thing that the designers have developed is this Bluetooth speaker. So here's how it's made. After receiving the plastic waste from wholesalers and local residents, Tom, the designer, along with his team, select the equivalent of 100 plastic bags and place it into the ovens for it to melt down. Once the bags have melted down into sheets, they're mixed together onto a work surface to form a ball. This warm plastic dough is then kneaded until it looks like coloured marble. The speaker's compression moulds are heated and filled with plastic dough. Once the moulds are hot, they are placed into a pressing machine, and then they are pressed together until the dough has filled the entire form. The excess dough is cut away and recycled. And the moulds are placed into water to cool down. Once the plastic has solidified, the moulds are opened and the speaker's components are hand finished. When the speaker's shell is ready, all of the electronic components of the speaker are inserted and the speaker is assembled. I really enjoy actually making the speakers myself um, and hand marbling the colours. Um, I just, I'm from a craft background and it's, I just find it so satisfying actually making a product and seeing it go from a waste material and wanted material to a product that people want to have in their homes and I find that process so satisfying. In order to make a speaker we use around 100 plastic bags or equivalent. We take it from local companies that are trying to, that don't have a use for it and have to pay to get rid of it um, and it normally doesn't go to a great place um, and it affects our environment in the end. So far the world has produced around 8.3 billion metric tonnes of plastic. Of this, 6.3 billion has turned into plastic waste. And only around 9% of this plastic waste has been recycled. Much of the plastic we use ends up in landfills. And this happens because it's either impossible to recycle, local authorities don't accept it, or individuals don't put it into recycling bins. But designers around the world are now coming up with innovative ways to reuse this non-recyclable plastic waste. We chose to recycle plastic into Bluetooth speakers because at the moment, um, there's a lot of furniture being made from recycled plastic, and we wanted to push it a little bit further and see if we could make tech products from it. Especially going down to the beach, we thought, 
all the plastic waste, it would be great. So rather than polluting the sea, you can actually have that plastic waste in a design product that, that you can play and listen to at parties on the beach. Each speaker has a unique marbled colour, depending on what kind of waste plastic is available at the time of manufacture. It's all dependent on the, on the colours that we mix and the supplies that we have. So if we're doing beach cleans in summer, for example, it, it's really crazy, but if we, if we do a beach clean one day and there's a festival on, we might have loads of plastic of one colour. So that will influence the design of a whole range of speakers. Their intention is not only to recycle plastic waste, but also to create an infinitely recyclable product. We also have designed the speakers in our product so that if they ever do break or if anything goes wrong with them, we can take it back um, and we can reuse something else from it. Because that's something we're, we're really passionate about, is not only upcycling, but also fitting into this circular economy where products don't have to be thrown away. At present, the electronic components inside the Gommi speaker are not made from recycled materials. But the company is working with partners to make sure that all of the broken electronic parts of their speakers are returned and recycled properly. Our main goal this year is to try and use a ton of plastic waste um, that would all go to landfill or incineration. We, going forwards, we really want to collaborate with other companies and other designers and just try and really push the sustainable message and start eliminating waste streams. Mm -hmm.